Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time we did some investigating and we found out that Mike Meekins here is the prime suspect in Detective Bruce Goodman's other death. Yeah, we're still trying to figure that one out. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and uh, try to investigate the scene of the crime. So let's go, shall we? And, um, 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 uh, yeah, I think we do have to go here first. You can tell by the way the text is going. Also, apologies for things being, um, like, off by a day at the least. It's because I was dealing with some major car issues. Uh, they seem to be wrapping up for the most part, uh, aside from like a major repair that might cost me upwards of $800, but that's sometime down the road. I should just prepare for it just in case because of the rust that is on the frame of my car. Yeah, times is rough. Anyway, hey, Mr. Wright, look who's standing at the head detective's desk. It's Chief Gant. Are you sure this is all, hmm? You know what it means if there is anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. We checked the drawers, the lockers, the garbage cans, the coat pockets, the pillowcases, behind the computer monitors, the coffee machine. Okay, but when you checked behind the computer monitors, did you look under the firewalls? Like, really? I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away, deal? Yes, sir. We'll scour the place again, sir. The head detective looks a little flustered. Uh -huh, right oh my boy, how you been? Swim much? Oh, ho, ho, Chief Gant, reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? All right, well, since he's here, let's go ahead and uh, <coughs> talk. Um, is that Rip going to be okay? Oh, worthy? Oh, you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with them. Sounds like an inquisition. Yep, well, we've had no end of trouble with the boys since last year. You mean, the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good having one of our top people sitting in the defendant's seat. Now, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right, Rido? Von Karma. A legend he was, undefeated in his 40-year career. But in court, you fixed this way he was caught for forging evidence. Well, wait, I didn't do anything wrong. He did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of a turmoil, you might say. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what that inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for Worthy. What? And now, evident incident. Let's just ignore that little typo there. It's downright odd, I tell you. I mean, it happened at exactly the same time. The murder at the prosecutor's office. Or maybe evident is correct. I thought maybe they might have meant evidence, but evidence incident doesn't make much sense. All right, never mind. not a typo. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, Rido, I can't give away all our secrets just like that. And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive, and I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets. Can't stand them. But you know, it's a full-time job just keeping the head detective's trap shut. Ah, he was the one you were picking on earlier. Huh? You saw that? <laughs> oh, whoops. I wonder what it was that he wanted the head detective to do. Let's see if we can find... Oh, uh, kind of discreetly ask him. Okay, well... Yeah, let's just not even deal with them, and let's just talk to him. He's sitting right there. Oh, sorry you had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the chief of police want you to do? Well, see over there? That's Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not. Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on it is February 21st. I'll make a note of that just in case. Goodman's lost item report added to the court record. Should probably get a quick look around the crime scene. 
Okay, but real quick, let's take a little look at this. Yeah, that's half written, all right. Couldn't even write his ID number. All right, well, let's talk to Chief Gant here to see if we can get some permission. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Hmm? Well, I never thought the day would come when Rido asked me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. Give him time. He has to mull it over. He has to think. He has to weigh the options here. Now, Rido. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate after all. Rido, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if you want to ask me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give him $50. No problem. I wish I had a friend like you. So go ahead, investigate the room to your heart's content, knock yourself out. It just goes to show you, you never know until you ask. And for you here, you can borrow this. Huh? Hey, this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? And that's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes, sir, it's an honor. You just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. Heh <laughs> it looks pretty cool on my lapel, doesn't it? Just think, a real ID. You seem happy. Yes, sir, because, sir, we get to go into the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. Real quick, I just want to try something here. Because this is actually my second time recording this. Um, yeah, the footage corrupted for some reason. I don't know why, but... You can use your luminol fluid or spray in many different places to find things. Sometimes it's related to the case, sometimes it's not. I'm actually glad I'm not finding anything here in the police station. That's good. That is very good. But okay, I'll probably be sure to show off those little Easter eggs when we get to the proper areas. Because yeah, I kind of got a little lost and turned around, so... Yeah. Huh, I thought we were going to get text here saying like, Oh, hey, you are now in the right area, but whatever. Real quick, before I forget. You got some blood right there on top of the cactus. Wow, we got a reaction. Hmm, there's clearly blood around the thorns here. This room is pretty messy. Someone must have tripped over something and planted their head right in these thorns. I think that might be more painful than being murdered. Not really. Not really. Emma. No. No. Well, I, I guess if it's a quick murder where you don't really feel the pain. Hey, what, what am I talking about here? The evidence room is beyond that door. And we have the ID card from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Aha, the car reader is turned off, see? What is that security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well, what's made my Bambina sky so gray? Oh, look, it's this clown. Uh, Officer Marshall, somehow I knew. What's that somehow I knew look for? As you may have surmised, this here's my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw! That card you got there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Ye Yeehaw! Well, what you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's awaiting. Looks like the card reader's on again. While we're here, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you, homebrays. You're busy then? Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us hombres. Okay, fine. Maybe we can get you to talk with a little Salisbury Stike. That smell. That reminds me of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Uh, yeah, Miss Star. W what's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch. I see, I see. Ah, crap! I forgot to examine 
the lunch before I gave it to him. Uh, nothing major. It was just like some Easter eggs, like with them saying like, oh, wow, the steak has gone cold now. And then like if you turn the box over, you can actually see the nutritional information. And they just start reading. It's like, okay, ingredients, meat. Do you think Miss Star meant to put like pork or beef on there or just anything and then it was like for the additives or other ingredients it was like nothing but love sweat and tears and then they were like no wonder this seems to be real salty so yeah just a fun little thing that i forgot to examine i don't see i wonder what it means steak lunch given to officer marshall all right bambina you win ask anything Finally, it seems like he is willing to talk. Why are you finishing each other's thoughts? You're not related. Fine, whatever. Let's talk to this buster. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job and I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center told us. Ah, oh, that poor little doggy. Poor guy, I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this, but since I got demoted from detective two years ago, well, it might not look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know? So, what were you doing around 515 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my steed, Zippy. Note. He was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There is no need for people here anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't take to machines much. Kinda like that stewed broccoli they sneak in next to your steak, you know? Okay. Anyway, about you. Miss Starr told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now, like a drinking hole in a prayer fire. You're still investigating the SO9 incident with Miss Starr, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. Can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. There are some things you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago? The day of our case. That's right. The evidence transfers. Edward was talking about the transfers too. Yeah, but first things first, about the security system. I know maybe two of the machines in here do. Uh, only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, me and machines, well... I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. The easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. That seems so bad. Okay, and Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard and you reckon? One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. That's the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card passed through. Hmm, hmm. So this is the ID card record. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambina, I can't show you more than that. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe there's some way I can prove that record is tied to the stabbing. Okay, but first things first, let's talk about these transferals. Sorry, but could you explain what this whole transferal thing is about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. They are kept here under the presiding detective supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the police station. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. I see now. Transferal is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. 
dead, never to be reopened again, never to be reinvestigated. And that happened to SO9 two days ago. All right, but he wants proof that the ID card thing is related to our case. Well, you know what? Take that. See this? This is the victim's ID card. Ah, uh, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is 5842189. Officer Marshall, show us the ID number on that ID card record. Look, the fourth number. It's a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Meekins say? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked a man to display his ID card. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing, suddenly he pointed a knife at me. If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a, oh, if he had his ID card then, why would he point a knife at Officer Meekins? Meekins would like to know that too. All right, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Good. I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Like this joker right in front of me. Sheriffs back in the Wild West didn't place much faith in evidence. About the only thing they trusted was their shooting hand. Um, this is neither Wild nor West here. <laughs> Aha, but that and this are two different things entirely. I guess so? Huh? I'm lost. Looks like we need some evidence to get anywhere with this guy. Hmm. Because he's one of those what happens on Earth stays on Earth cryptic speech guys. But alright, let's go. No need to continue talking to him. Let's go into the evidence room. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. So this is the evidence room? It really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. But nice try, Mr. Wright. You, you can't scare me. Eek! Whoa! Darkness. All right. S sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So, is it true what I heard? Righto, please, do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give them $50, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's desire. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Gant will loan anyone 50 bucks, even me. Oh, so that's what you were talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? boss for a day but guess what you got permission from the chief so now you're boss for a day gee thanks first of all you don't want to have this evidence room floor plans added to the court record all right let's talk to dick gumshoe so detective gumshoe you're boss for the day that's right it's an honor after all the murder took place right here in the police department but if you're boss why are you all alone where are your underlings? They're using our findings from yesterday's investigation to prepare for the trial. In other words, Detective Gumshoe got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. And in my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here too, Detective Gumshoe? Haha, <laughs> of course. I am a detective, after all. Hey, give me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? Pal? All right, but first things first, let's talk about Edgy. Always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the inquiry committee for now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. Yeah, so nine isn't it, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. First, the evidence safe. This place is more high-tech than you might think. 
Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open. Using this ID card? <laughs> well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. I know this firsthand. Why will my third card is entering the force already? That sounds like a lot. Yes, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh, you mean your fingerprint. Exactly, pal. The lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. And that's the only locker we can open. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor. And if the wrong person touches it, as if you get a shock. If that's what happened, my hand would be black as smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There's even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Okay, yeah, sure, just add that. Alright, uh, give me a second here. Alright, heat and fatigue do not mix. Like, it's currently 80 degrees, or whatever, outside. I have windows open, but there is no semblance of a breeze even coming through. And it's past midnight, so I'm kind of feeling the effects of a pretty rough day of going to a junkyard and pulling stuff off a car. But whatever, okay, so. We need to convince him to tell us about the SL9 incident. Why don't we show him this note? Detective Goodman's note, and that switchblade knife. I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone. Because of the SL9 connection? That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Alrighty then, you gonna tell us a little more about it, champ? Now, that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? Serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight. And started the rumor mill. Rumors. About forced evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? So, so... That switchblade knife? The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself. Oh, the victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? Interesting. Also, while we are here, you know, we're showing everybody in the force this, so why not show him? Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, uh, I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa! W what is it? The, 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 that second number. It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumption? Mr. Edgeworth. What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. What? What? ID card record updated in the court record. Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Very interesting indeed. So Edgeworth came in at 440. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Why would he be here, of all places? Well, whatever, let's start examining the scene of the crime. This looks suspicious. There is something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence from well, for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. Here you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of slob. We're not responsible for the evidence here. That's it. I bet that evidence locker was open recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat either. That monster. 
If you're gonna talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them, pal. So, sorry. All right, let's go over here. Wow, okay. We got some pretty amazing things going on here. Like this bloody handprint. What's this? Blood. It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright, what if there are other blood stains left in the room? We should use her testing fluid to check it out. All right then, let's go for it. Oh, had to press minus there, okay. So we're just looking for, oh, okay, well we got something big right there. There must have been a massive amount of blood here. I've never seen so much before. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it on the floor plans. Hey, you don't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. Well, you shouldn't have given us a stupid opinion, I'm just saying. But all right. Anything over yonder? Oh, well, what do you know? Okay, the sleepiness is for real. Just had a bit of a yawning fit right there. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wrap up the evidence room <laughs> real quick. All right, why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. This just might be something significant. Hey. That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, this? It's called luminol testing fluid. Where'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some, too. I just borrowed 50 bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? Always buy it by mail order. Well, it... I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. All right, yeah, bloody handprint. That does, in fact, seem important. We got anything else? Some more stuff around that one handprint. I knew it. This is someone's right handprint. What? What's the matter, detective? The this locker. It's mine. It's yours? Please. You have to help me when they come to take me away. I promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. Very interesting that a police officer would say you can't trust the police. What? But well, you're a detective. Don't question it, Emma. Don't question it. You got anything else? No, maybe not. All right, let's examine a little more. Like these. What is the saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, true art has always been a war against oppression. True art? I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the Blue Badger? Well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence room? Okay. Interesting. So then we got a little glove right there. Someone left the glove here, but only one. Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal. Make me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. I mean, you kind of are, but alright. As evidence from the case, you know. You mean SL9? It does have a tag on it. Rubber glove added to the court record. Alright. And we got some broken junk down here. Wow, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of hooligan. As apparently from the case. The case? The SL9 incident, pal. See the sticker on one of the pieces there? Another piece of SO9 evidence. Yeah, let's check it further. Wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You wanna try to put it back together? Ha! Good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why well, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. 
Took him three hours. Yeah, right. I'm about to beat his best time. This is puzzle solving done quick. All right. I have no clue what's going to be the first piece. This? Yes. All right. Something to fit right in there. Not quite. Hmm. Maybe that? No. I don't even know why I tried that one. Wait, did I try this one or was I just using the wrong side? It's probably using the wrong side there. That one was easy enough. All right, something to go right in there. This one should not be all that difficult. Cause I kind of already had it ready. All right. No. No. Maybe. No. Hmm. All right, it appears I'm actually a little stuck. Oh wait, no, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. We're we're good. We're good. Pessimist I just had to be pessimistic and we're fine. I mean, as long as we beat Gumshoe's PB I'll be happy. Hmm. Okay, I was just doing something wrong there. And then the final piece. Well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. It only took me two minutes to do. The problem is finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, it doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how it got broken. All right, unstable jar added. Hey pal, look at the time. Was there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm gonna give them my report for the day. It might help, you know. R report You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure you can use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later. Later, nerd. Should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. I also forgot to examine the very open evidence locker right there. Detective Goodman's evidence locker, it's empty. But Detective Goodman himself can open this locker. So the person who took out this knife had to have been Detective Goodman. And why was it wrapped in the scarf muffler? Wait. And why was it wrapped in the scarf muffler stuck inside the car muffler? Yeah, I had to process that sentence. That one was, ew, all kinds of weird. But all right, and before we leave, jar pieced back together from fragments found at the missing scene. A piece is missing. Okay, it's not really telling us much. It's fine. You can always check out the rubber glove. That looks important. The tag says SO911. I guess this is another piece of evidence from that case. You know, I never did care for the word tag. It's confusing. Huh? What's so confusing about that? Do you know how many other words sound like it? Gag, nag, lag, zag, zag. Is that a word? Do you challenge me? What, are we playing a word game now? This is no time for words with friends, Emma.
Looks like a normal glove. I don't see much anything wrong with it. Hmm. Okay, I kind of entered another state of consciousness as I was examining this, so I guess that's my cue to just end things off right here. Yeah, no new people, really. So, yeah. You know, I mean, I feel kind of bad that we're ending on a somewhat anticlimactic point. But to be fair, we did learn quite a few things today. You know, like Officer Marshall wasn't at his post when the murder happened. And that Edgeworth also came into the evidence room before the murder occurred. So, yeah. There is some major stuff going on here. Oh, yeah, and also the fact that, you know, we did find blood here in the evidence room. So, I mean, something did go down here. But that wouldn't make sense how Goodman was able to die in two places at the same time. Oh, well. Anyway, next time, we will probably conclude the investigation. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and see you next time for some more Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Goodbye.